What is up there everybody? Citrus Aviation here for yet another video and today we are going to start a brand new series called Model Aircraft Talk or something like that. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it but this is basically a video series where I just talk about model airplanes for how long the video is. And so we're just going to do this as so its own series and the reason why I do it separately from Model Aircraft News is this is not necessarily model aircraft news but more just discussing about model airplanes and we just talk about model airplanes for how long the video goes so i've got a couple of topics i'm going to do today we're going to have this a two-part portion of the video we're going to do the first thing where i show you this really cool trick with the general jets website and then i'm going to unbox some models but they're not new models uh, because I'm moving to my apartment uh, as as I'm moving models from my parents house here I'm basically just going to show you some of them and just talk about them So yeah, hopefully you all enjoy this new series and let me know what you think in the comments But yeah, let's get started So here you might notice I'm on the Jeremiah Jets website And obviously you know what the Jeremiah Jets website looks like today This this is what it looks like here We've got a bunch of these future releases, they got these pictures here they got uh, this cool model here that I recommend. They got an unauthorized retail thing. They got this. And then, of course, they got some links here. And, of course, they got the, um, um, they got this with the new releases. Something that a lot of people take a look at because it's fun to look at it. But what if you wanted to go back in time and take a look at the old Jeremy Jets website? Well, you can do that. So, if you take a look here. Uh, at the Jeremy Jets website, you're gonna copy and paste the URL. Well, first you're gonna copy the URL, and then you're gonna go open a new tab, and you're gonna go to archives.org. All right, here's this website. All right, you you see the search bar? You put in, you uh, paste the website, jets.com. Hit enter, and then we'll load up here is a calendar that shows all the update variants of the website and will go all the way back to different years. So what if, say, we go back to one of my favorite years for this website, which was 2014. And the reason why is because they made a lot of great models in this time period. So what if, say, we took a look at the um, update roles on the website here from October. Say we take a look at October 27th. Um, so th this website tracker will show every update version of the website from the day they updated. So October 27th, that should have been, I think, the November releases. So let's click on here and take a look. It'll show you the, what the website looked like at the time. Look at this. Dunless looks so cool. This goes back to the OG Jeremy Jets website. Some of you may remember this. Um, and it shows you how the website will look like. So you can see they had the old picture here of the uh, America West plane. And of course they had showing the uh, new tone all the time. The Jeremy Jets Plastics line. Which they only made one model of. And of course they were advertising Jeremy Jets GA. Jeremy 200. They had Facebook and they advertised for the March. And uh, they had just announced the Etihad A380 and 787. Which is really cool. And here it says October 2014 release is announced. We can take a look at that. Go load. Yeah. Um, now, for whatever reason, this variant of the website it has a blip where it doesn't show some releases, so it doesn't always show all of them. So that's something that should be noted. Um, but here you can see it shows the October and the November set. Just take a look at how good these releases were back then. Uh, October Air Canada 7878. That aircraft had just been delivered at the time, so it's really cool. American MD82, what an awesome model that was. A British Airways A319, that was quite popular for October. Delta 752, this plane that I still want to get, but it was an awesome release. I had the, the United 753 and 739, both great releases, and the UPS MD11. I have all three of these. Um, and I have all three of the US, well, not the A330 200, but I have the other two. I have the A319 and the 170. These were great releases. And 200 scale, I have the American Eagle CRJ 700. But even the F27 kind of cool plane and the 777 was really awesome. But yeah, this was back when Jeremy Jets made great releases. And this was part of some of the greatest releases of all time from Jeremy Jets. Here in this 2014, particularly the middle of 2014. But 
I've bought almost every single one of these models here from this set, and I really would like all of them, maybe except for the BAA 319, but even then, could have maybe use for it on the London City to New York route. But anyway, it was really cool, these releases, and you could sort of take a look at them here on the website. Now, not all the, the um, releases load. There's a few months where it just misses. For example, for whatever reason, doesn't properly sell the June, July, August, or September releases. But you can still go here like you would have on the old website and just click on them. Uh, it does take the pictures a little while to load because it is loading an archive uh, instead of an active website. So you could take a look here, Delta 752, what an awesome model that was. This was also when they were using this really interesting background that they only used a couple of times. Um, like the United 739 should load. Not all these load because the picture doesn't always work, but there's a 753, that was an awesome plane. Um, 739. This one, the picture might not work. But this is a cool thing, you can go on their website. Take a look at different archives and look at releases that are really cool. Yeah, that one doesn't load. But let's go back here on the archives website. Let's say, for example, take a look here at the January 2015 releases. These were a really, really good set. Go to the General Jets homepage. As it used, they were selling six pictures at the time. You can see a bunch of the models that were released with this set. And this was at the time when they would sell pictures right when the planes were released. So the January set was following the really good December set, which had the triple three in it for American Airlines. It had the two Etihad Airways models that had been previously announced and were highly anticipated. Waiting for the picture to load, because it's an archive, it doesn't load quite as quickly. But there you can see a great model, one I've always wanted to get, but I've never gotten. We had the Emirates. Or not Emirates, but Etihad A380, another model that's worth quite a bit of money and hard to track down. But just a, a bunch of really good, just generic models in uh, 400 scale. The Qantas A380. This one doesn't have picture of so, but that was a cool plane. Or a, uh, excuse me, Qantas A380, sorry. And then we had the Virgin Atlantic 7879. This was a really cool plane. I don't think I bought this one. I think I bought the 2015 release, the one that came shortly thereafter in August 2015. But yeah, this was a really good model. That one sold out pretty quick. And then 200 scale, bunch of great planes that you can see there. And then uh, January came around and a ton of great planes were released. And of course, uh, the Air China 7478, that was a plane I have. I bought that a few months later. Air China 748, uh, Allegiant Air MD-83, really cool plane. Uh, no picture alone for this one. And then of course we had three American models. These were all very popular at the time. The CRJ-700, the 737-800, right there. And the 787-8, uh, which this aircraft had just been delivered to American Airlines. And so this was a very popular model. I said the Air China 748 just had also just been delivered. So both these models were pretty popular. The American planes sold out really quickly and I was unfortunately never able to pick up those. Maybe I'll pick them up at some point in the future. This plane though I did pick up, I think, the Delta 763. Um, I'm not, oh no, I don't, I don't know if I got this one. And then the Hawaiian Airbus 330, another great plane. But they've made a lot of Hawaiian Air models and this one was really nice too. But yeah, another nice plane there, Hawaiian A330 in the old livery. And of course we had the Philippine A319, really cool. They, they were doing quite a few Philippine Airlines models at the time. And then we had the Qantas 737800 in one of the retro liveries. So this was a really good set here in 400 scale and great, some great 200 scale models as well. A bunch that I have in my personal collection. But yeah, great model. The Southwest 737-700, I think I have this one. This is the Hart livery. I think this is the Rego Hart livery and I do have that one. But yeah, a, a great release set there following the great uh, December release set, which is really awesome. So it's really cool. This was the kind of models that Gemma Jets making and it really has been a long time since Gemma Jets has done something like this. Um, 
they have only recently started to do something like this once again, starting with 2021. Let's take a look at that April release set. That April release set they had that year was really good. All right, let's take a look at one last one. Let's take a look at this April 2015 release set, which came out in May for whatever reason. Well, actually, no, it came out in April, but it's not showing up here as loading on the website till May. But still, really cool releases. Let's take a look at them here. They were really, really good, as you're going to see. Um, obviously, we had the March releases, which, interestingly enough, this is one of those, the smallest releases Jeremy just ever made in 400 scale, anyway. But there were just four planes. There was the American um, Triple Two in the One World livery, one that I have. The American A330-300 in the new livery. The Delta 777-200ER, a model that I've always considered gain but have never picked up. This would be a cool plane to get. The picture would load, that'd be great. Because an archive, it takes longer for it to load, but that was a cool plane. One that I probably should have picked up, but haven't yet. And then the Pan Am 747-100. That's a really cool plane. 200 scale, bunch of really good aircraft in here. I did pick up one of these. I have one of these in my collection. That is the Delta 757-200. This one is and the 7602, I think. Yeah, and seven and 6702. Great plane. And then we come here to these um, amazing releases. The only way I can describe it. Amazing releases here in April. I'm just taking a look at this Frontier 320 they released in 200 scale. That's a model I never picked up. That probably should have because it's a great model. But just let's just start here with the 400 scale models. They had an American 757-200, which was a really good plane. One that was very popular at the time. I know a bunch of people have this model. I unfortunately never picked it up. But look at that. It looked really good. The pictures they took this month were really nice. This is back in the time when the models were released and there were pictures already up of them. You didn't have to wait for the pictures to come out. And then the American 170 was also released this month. We have not had a re-release of this plane yet in 400 scale, which I, I think that will change. I think we will get a re-release soon, but great model. Uh, this was the 200 LR. I have this model. I did end up picking this one up. It's a very good airplane. I picked this one up later. It was not on, I did not buy it on pre-order. I think I bought it nearly two years later, but the great model. And uh, the picture for this one is kind of legendary. How this lighting kind of looked kind of weird on this aircraft. But even still, good picture. Um, I'm pretty sure that was taken with indoor lighting. And then we had a couple Emirates models. We had 777-300ER. Or so I say 777-200LI. Very nice plane there. Uh, one that I would consider getting, but... Yeah, triple sent to an LR and then A380-800. I believe these were both just standard livery at the time. Uh, this one is an Expo 2020. So yeah, uh, one of one of the uh, one of the World Cup liveries. So, yeah, they were still making special image liveries back then. But then we had this model, the JetBlue Airbus 320, and this one is, I believe, the barcode, which it is. This. So, fun fact, this was the first model I ever pre-ordered. This here, JetBlue Airbus 320. I pre-ordered this along with another model we're going to take a look at. But these were some of the first pre-orders I ever did. I got this JetBlue plane. It was so cool. I still have this model in my collection. It's such an awesome plane. Uh, but also came out a couple of KLM models. We have the 737-800, which was in the new livery at the time, which had just come out. It was basically a modification of the old livery with the... With the little line here just kind of swooping down. But mostly the same livery. And then I think this is the... No, this is the A330 in 95 years. Because uh, the airline had just celebrated 95 years. But yeah, cool model. One that I've considered buying. I've had a couple opportunities to buy it, but never did. And then the Southwest 737-300. This one is in the Lone Star 1 livery. They picked your load. There it is. Interesting they had this in this white background. I never understood why they did it for just the Lone Star 1. This is the 300 Lone Star 1. I pre-ordered these two models. They were the very first planes I ever pre-ordered. And then we had the Spirit Airbus 319. A model that I've never picked up but really stood up. But it was a really cool plane. A lot of people have enjoyed it. And it's been a good model for a lot of them. What a nice plane that is right there. Uh, that's been a good model for a lot of people's collections. But you can see... This was back in the time when Jones just, just released a lot of standard livery airplanes, um, even 200 scale. Uh, 
I think that's the same 320 then 200 scale as well. Let me take a look here. I believe that's the barcode. Well, the picture doesn't show up, but I believe it's the same thing. Um, but yeah, that Frontier 320 and then the new livery at the time with the Legion MD80, FedEx MD11, 738, new livery, Volta in Australia, Triple 3, and then Cessna. So, a lot of great models back then. It was a great release. So, these are the sort of fun things you can do with the archives.org. You can take a look at old Genesis releases. And of course, by 2015, they changed the picture here to a Hawaiian 763. But lots of fun things. If you want to take a look at an old website, see what it looked like, this is a fun way to do it. Gemini Jets releases, you can finally see what releases were actually released by taking a look at archives.org. So yeah, let's go to the second part of this video now. Well, welcome to this part of whatever so I'm going to call this, model talk or something. And as I've been moving into the apartment, I've been moving models from the house to the apartment. So I just want to take a look at some of these and uh, go over them with y'all and just talk about them. So, you know, that's what this show is all about. So I just put these in a box from a store that I go to where I get health food. It's just a UD's gluten-free box, but a bunch of stuff in here. So we're going to start with this plane. This is a UPS Boeing 767-300. This was the 2017 release. And this one was from the UPS company store with no um, added antennas or anything like that. But uh, it did come from stand. Really cool. And the model is pretty awesome. So, great pickup from the UPS company store, even though uh, I think, I don't know if they sold out on these, but it was a really good deal. And if you want to get good models for good price, go check out the UPS company store. You get a 744, 763, like this one, and an MD11. All of the current titles, too. So, that's the first model. Second one, this was a United 170, Republic registered one. Here's this one. It's gonna, I'm gonna put this on the board here. It's got uh, the Morn over here. I'm gonna need this one. But this one's cool. I'm getting a lot of United with this shipment because I have a bunch of Deltas, but really at the time I only have a 700, a 550, an 800, and a couple CRJ200s. And, a set, and an old CRJ700, the uh, Blue Tulip livery. So I really need some more United aircraft, and so I brought over a bunch of my United planes over here. This is a 170, December 2017 release. Really cool plane. I'm very happy with this model. I like it a whole lot. And hopefully I can get a 175 for United here soon. I actually have one that I'm going to unbox here soon. But this one is a cool plane. Really glad to bring it over to the house as it's a model that uh, I've been needing. So this next one. This is a model from September 2014. It's the United 757-200. And this was one of the first models I bought from the airplane shop. I bought it for, I think it was $42 at the time, which was a lot. I think that was the MSRP for these, was 42 bucks, which now you can barely get a 737 for 42 bucks. But I bought it at MSRP because this model sold out on pre-order and I really wanted to get it. So, I got it. I got it a Christmas model, if I remember. In 2014. I got I think 12 Christmas models in 2014. That really if I hadn't already gotten the collecting bug that really did it for me. But yeah, this was such a cool model. Hasn't been a re-release of by Jimmy Jets since um until just recently. I think it was uh the new release is April 2022. We finally got a new United 752. So this model, really cool plane. I really like it. Another great one to collect. And you'll be seeing this in some videos. Oh, let's do this one next. United Airlines 737-900. Need this for my Des Moines setup. So, interesting thing with this, you might want to wear this little plastic piece on top. This was one of the first planes I got, and I had this weird idea at the time. Uh, when my brother and I started collecting, we were like, well, we don't need this plastic piece on top, so we actually threw it away, which is really stupid, but... It's a 900. Another 2014 release. I believe this was a September release. A lot of the 7.63 for United they did that year. But the, the 2014 releases were crazy good. Particularly starting from about June. We got some insane, May and June, we got a bunch of great models. The June release, and then July, August, and then September, and then October, and November. So a lot of really solid bunch of releases with a ton of planes I've always wanted. 
And most of which I have, I have actually the majority of the models from those releases because there was so US heavy, so much just regular models that were needed. And we haven't seen Jeremy just do releases like that since since 2014 until 2021 when they started doing a lot of solid US models. So United 737900, still the only regular livery 739 for United that Jeremy Jess has ever done. So great model there. I'm actually gonna put it over here on the board because I need it for my little setup here. Let's, let's get it nice and good. Let's get it lined up here with the, uh, the line. Um, actually, exit the 900 so it goes up forward. Here we go. I said, for mine, the, the, uh, hold on, stabilizer has always been a bit wonky on this where they haven't quite set properly, but they look good. This is the new Des Moines mat. I really like it. But yeah, United 739, another cool plane. Um, another awesome plane. Uh, this one, I remember this one was a... 2014, like sometime in 2014. Earlier, I think maybe May. But this was a cool plane, Airbus 319. It made a lot of United models, a bunch of planes needed, but great model right here. Of course, this was, a, this was another one where I thought I didn't need the plastic piece on top, so I tossed it at the time, which was stupid, but cool plane. I really like this A319. It's a, a nice stable A319. General Jets has not released one since, which is really strange. Uh, again, I need this for the Moines. I'm plucking him over here. This is 319, so park him uh, at this line, I believe. Yeah, 319 right here. That's where that parks. Um, I know the morning quite well, but yeah. Four United Planes, all of which I really needed for some of the stuff that I do for BCI and for a bunch of the airports, because these aircraft are really common. 319, 739, E-170, 752, not so much, because they were tying those, but I really wanted the plane. I'm so happy I have it. You can see these have a little bit of box wear. Uh, some of these sat in the sun for a little bit, where they had sun sign on them, but I don't do that anymore. Um, 763, cool. Uh, let's, um, let's take this one out of the box next. This one is an American 737-800, and we're going to pair it with two other planes, because they are similar themed. These planes are, some of you remember these, but I think these were released in 2016. These were the American Airlines retro jets for Reno Air, Air Cal, and Transworld Airways. Uh, these planes came out in 2014 when they were painted, and it's really cool that American did these retros for former airlines, and uh, General Jets made these models, I think they're 2016. Yeah, 2016 released. These were released around the summertime in different batches, but I used to use these in my airport updates all the time uh, because... These were the only American 737s I had for such a long time. Uh, the Air Cal, Reno Air, and TWA were the only three that I had. And so these were the only ones I used, but now that I have more of them, and now I even will have regular livery after Massive Unboxing 12. I got a, a lot of, I think it was 11 models, all really planes I needed, so you'll get to see that soon. But these are really cool. If you've seen my older videos, you'll know these ones all the time. And I'm going to bring them back because it's been a while since I've used these. But there's the Reno Air. Here's the Air Cow in its box. Very nice plane. And then here's the Transworld Airways. Another cool plane. Um, so yeah. I like these. And they're going to have use here. Um, let's go with another plane. Um, these two. Delta models. There are some Delta models I moved over. Um, we're going to do that one here in a second. We're going to start with this one. This one is the Delta 737-900. 2015 release. I want to say it was like May or June. But this one is in the CE Woman livery. It's a Delta 739, so you can see the CE Woman. What's really cool about that is I saw this plane in December 2014. Like soon after it had been painted or delivered with the CE Woman titles on those that you can see. This model is really nice. Uh, it used the updated 7007 mold, it's not as good as the older one because it started using plastic parts, which I was not a big fan of. But it does have the yellow antennas on the bottom, which I think is really cool. 
and the models pretty nice. I've used this in a ton of videos because this along with the Spear of Seattle were for the longest of time the only Delta 737-900s I had until recently when I got the NG ones and I got Jeremy Jets with splits. So now that I've got an additional six 737-900s, but these two are staples in my collection for a very long time and they and they still have a, a big place with me that I'm personally a big fan of. So let's pull out this one. You can see what we have coming up. These next two are both significant models because these for me have been chase models I've been after for a very long time. And I finally got them. Uh, this one I picked up in 2020. The Delta 752. This is the first new livery Delta model. And the first new livery Delta airplane with the current widget titles. It's a 2007 release. And of course it commemorates the first new livery Delta aircraft right there, April 30th, 2007. The model itself is really cool too. It, it's a 757-200 without windlets. And yeah, very awesome airplane. Um, this one, this is the second Joy Jets Delta 757 release. This one is in the standard livery, of course. But this one has windlets and it's a Generation 1 or a long haul configured aircraft. You can see the emergency doors and tell they long haul configured aircraft. This is also a form of Transworld Airways aircraft, which Delta bought a bunch of the Transworld 757s when the uh, airline went under at the end of the 1990s. And so this was one of the ones that joined their fleet, and it's still in service today, 703 Tango Whiskey. This was a 2008 release. The model was released the following year. And this was another model that I've been trying to chase after and get for a long time. I don't remember when I picked this up. I won't, it might have been 2020 as well. I think so. I think I big, picked up both of these in 2020. And uh, well, this one might have been 2021. I'm not sure. But I picked up both of these at similar times. And it's really great to have both of them in the collection. And yeah, you'll be seeing them um, in a bunch of different videos that I'll be doing. But these two models super awesome to have these in the collection um, those aren't the only Delta models they're just the last of the Delta uh, not even the last of Delta Nobodies and that's not even the last of the Uniteds because we have one more this one right here this is the Eco Skies 737-900 which is the only other 739 that Jeremy Jess has ever released this was a September 2016 release uh, September or August. Very cool plane. The livery on it's pretty cool. I, do, I think they still have this livery. I've seen this plane in real life at the morning with you, them staying over as a round for United, but this one's pretty cool. Like I like the green on it. Nice colors. Green and blue goes with the United livery pretty well. They see, so let's start five, nine models. Uh, what do we have in here next? Um, let's actually do these two. These, some of these models, who knows, have similar themes to them. But these two are the Panda models, 737s. These were the first Panda models I ever picked up. This one here is the WestJet 737-600. This was a Prairie Models exclusive, Prairie Wings exclusive. Very nice plane. And I believe this was my first WestJet model. Since then, I've gotten a couple 738s from NG. We have first WestJet model. And this one is my first DHL model, a 737-400. Another cool plane. I've got a duplicate of this since, so I have two of these, but very cool plane. I really like it a whole lot. And I love the purple box that they do for these. Since then, I've got a bunch of exclusive releases too. Um, and those have some pretty neat boxes as well, but I kind of like this one. This one's pretty cool. Um, let's do two more narrow bodies, and then we'll do some wide bodies. So, these do not have the malls in them that you think they do. This one does. I'm pretty sure this one does have the thank you. A321. Of course, opening a box with one hand is a bit of a challenge, but that should be the thank you. Yeah, it is. Right there. Thank you, A321. By NG. This other box has an A321, but it's not the one that you're thinking of. This one. I don't know if it correctly has. It is. I 
come on, come on, come on, out of the box. There we go. This one has a Gemini Jets A321 in it. That's right. I somehow I accidentally put the NG Models A321 in a Gemini Jets box when I sipped it over. And this is one of the Gemini Jets A321s here in the NG Models box of all things. So, yeah. That's kind of interesting. But I did need to move these over because Atlanta's coming up. My uh, next Atlanta airport update for May. So more Delta aircraft needed. And A321s are very common. So that's our last narrow body. We've got some wide bodies next. Um, let's move these out of the way. We've got a bunch of wide bodies. Let's start. We're well, actually one more narrow body. This one is the NG Malls Iceland Air Boeing 757-200. I actually picked this up from a local plane spotter here. Um, and I'm really happy to pick this one up. So thank you, sir for selling me this plane, one I've been looking for for a long time. I've always wanted an Iceland Air model, and here she is. Look at how awesome it is. This is the 752 with circlets. Well, yeah, not circlets, but uh, skimmy toys. Just skimmy toys, not splits, just skimmy toys. So, very cool plane. The model's really nice. And yeah, I'll have uses for it. I haven't really used it a whole lot, but I've always wanted this model and I'm happy to have it. Um, let's do... This one. This model is the KLM 777-300ER. The box is kind of in not amazing shape. That's because I've had it for a long time. This one was one of the first wide bodies that I pre-ordered. One of the first planes that I pre-ordered. And I, I pre-ordered this along with the Lufthansa Airbus 340-600 in the fans haunts delivery. These two models were released in the Jeremy Jets July, August, 2015 releases. Uh, it was all that on the June releases, but these two models are really cool, and I'm very happy to pick them up. Uh, KLM Triple Three, uh, an aircraft I've had a lot of use for. They fly into a lot of airports, and it's a good plane. Um, the detail on it is not quite up to the standard of what newer models have, but for 2015, it was pretty good. And of course, eh, I think it used the older mold. I'm not sure, but. It's a good plane, and I like it a whole lot. And it was my first 777-300ER. And for those of you who follow the channel, you know I've gotten many, many more since. So, an airplane type that I really like, and a great model. Um, let's do this. This one is a duplicate NG Models Delta A350. Pretty cool plane. Uh, one of two that I have. And I needed this one because I do Atlanta, and there's a lot of A350s there. So there we go, A350 for Delta. And then we have two models, both of which I really like. Um, let me turn these the correct way up. So the first plane here is the Engine Ball Delta A330, just like the 350. This is, this is my second one, so this is a duplicate. And obviously I need it for Atlanta, so Whenever a Delta release comes out, I usually will buy two of them. There's 350, there's the 330. I really like these boxes. This box design that NG's been using on their newer Delta releases looks so clean. It's really nice. And then finally, speaking of clean box design, here is the Swiss A330 by NG Models. This was the first model that I rated a 40 out of 40 in my old... Uh, rating scale. Actually, I did a couple of those, but this was, this is one of the few. And in my current rating scale, has the highest score, 99 out of 100. Uh, the only reason I didn't score it perfectly was because uh, one of the horizontal stabilizers came out, so I had to remove one point from quality. But the model is incredible. It's amazing how detailed this plane is, and the model is super nice. So I'm really happy to have that plane. So great model. A great selection of models here. As I'm moving models over in next episode, who knows what we'll cover. So, this is just a fun little series I do where I talk about model airplanes. And right now I'm just starting by um, sipping models over from the house to the apartment. And we're just going to talk about model airplanes. And so, yeah, that next episode, who knows what we'll talk about. But right now we're just talking about planes here that I'm sipping over. And these are the ones that we have today. So, yeah. Very cool planes. I hope you all enjoyed this new video series where I just talked about model airplanes. Let me know if you want me to do more of these. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, so, 
Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and God bless you.